Hi friends, welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithms. Coming to the next concept that is greedy method. So we'll see what is this greedy method. So I want to explain this with one example. Of course, it is a straightforward technique where you may have more than one solution. That is, if I consider the problem of change making, let us suppose you went to a shop and you purchased some items for uh, rupees 34 and you don't have any change and you have given 100 rupees note the shop owner has to give 66 rupees how many ways this 66 rupees can be given by the shop owner so there is a first solution i call it as 150 rupees note 110 rupees note 15 rupees and one one rupee currency like this he can give that is the first option and the second option he may give 320 rupees notes and 110 rupees note 15 rupee 1 1 rupee like this not only that you may have more choices like this so he may give any number of choice if the total sum is 66 you need to accept that so these many ways you can answer the problem of change making you can answer all those things by these number of solution if you observe here each one is a acceptable solution so here each solution you call it as feasible solution so you call here it as feasible solution now among all the feasible solutions now what will be the optimal solution so optimal in the sense which either maximizes or minimizes the certain problem let us consider in this problem it has to minimize the number of currency notes it has to minimize the number of currency notes then i can say here that is an optimal solution so what will be that optimal solution here means of course all are solutions but among them I want to find the optimal solution which consisting of least number of currency notes definitely I can say this is he may give in any number of choices every choice is a feasible solution of course he may give 66 as 61 rupee coins also that is also acceptable but what is the optimal means this is a optimal now connect this one with your greedy method where you have a problem to solve that problem has a number of solution that is every solution is acceptable and every solution is you call it as feasible solution among all the feasible solution you need to find the optimal solution so optimal solution in the sense which is either maximizes or minimizes the particular problem that you call it as optimal solution for some problems you may require minimum value some problems you may require maximum value like this you need to consider let us consider uh, some more examples like if you want to go for let us 10 minutes of time given and 10 uh, runners are running in the track so whoever covers the maximum distance in the 10 minutes that means maximum value so that's what you call it as optimal solution like that so sometimes it is minimized sometimes it is maximized you call it as optimal solution as the name suggests they are not they are short-sighted in their approach taking decision on the basis of the information that means here the shop owner is taking the decision immediately what he has that means he is checking for what are the notes he has if he has 50 rupees notes immediately will give like this 50 10 rupees notes he will check like this if you don't have 50 he may go for another alternate solution okay like this every solution is a feasible solution the definition is a problem with n number of inputs will have some constraints here you have n number of inputs n number of currency nodes what is my constraint here you need to use these currency nodes and the constraint has to be satisfied that the total sum of this currency which will be given will be equals to 66 any subset that satisfies these constraints are called as feasible solution now this subset is satisfying this subset is satisfying this subset like this so every subset you call it as feasible solution now about optimal solution a feasible solution that either maximize or minimize that you call it as optimal solution so here in greedy method we need to remember you will have more than one solution every solution you call it as feasible among the feasible one solution will be optimal solution which either maximizes or minimizes now this is control abstraction for the greedy method if you see here how this procedure will follow we can say it's a general method so algorithm greedy method here you can see a is an array which consisting of n number of inputs solution initial is 0 
that is initializing for i equals 1 to n you are selecting the option that is solutions if x is equals to select that means x is equals you are selecting one solution that means you are selecting a subset of coins now if feasible of solution comma x that means if whatever you are selecting if it is equals to 66 of course i am explaining this with our example change making example if that is equals to 66 then this if condition is true otherwise this if condition will be false if the total sum is other than 66 this condition will be false so now if it is 66 you can take it as solution that is one solution i can take it as s1 that means union of that means for loop again you need to take another solution now what is this s1 union s2 it depends on the problem either it is maximizing or minimizing the value will be given to solution in our example which minimizes this that will goes to solution in some problems if which is the maximum value that will goes to the solution like this finally after n number of iterations finally you will get a solution which is optimal one that has to be returned here so whatever it is written this will be optimal solution so like this general method is there okay this is about general method of greedy solutions now the applications so what are the applications or problems you can solve by using this greedy concept so these are the four applications an abstract problem job sequencing with deadlines minimum cost spanning tree single source shortest path problem we will see one by one with the examples as well as algorithm in the next lectures thank you